What's up, YouTube? Escafan here. Gonna show some caramel cards. And these are all from the E90 set one. And they released from 1909 to 1911. Here is the Joe Tinker. Cubs Hall of Famer. And all the cards in this set have the same back. It's really a nice back. American Caramel Company, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 100 subjects. So that is the Tinker along with the Keeler and the Wallace back there. Those are all Hall of Famers. And I picked up this lot of one dozen trimmed cards. And on the back there is a key Hall of Famer from the inaugural class, the first six to be inducted. So, I'm gonna show through these cards here. And they're all in various states of being trimmed. And caramel cards are less common than T206 cards. And they're also harder to find in any sort of good condition because one theory is that the original owner of all these cards or most of these cards would have been children as opposed to adults that would buy the tobacco cards so this one is really badly trimmed here so I'm gonna show the commons here first as I'm doing and there's five Hall of Famers that were in this lot which is the main reason why I picked it up and there's a nice one from St. Louis sir okay here's the last common and now into the Hall of Famers we go First one, Addy Joss. That is the same Carl Horner portrait that was used for his T206 card. I believe the background in his T206 card is yellow. So these caramel cards are real neat to, to see, especially if you're familiar with the T206 cards. So there's Hall of Famer Addy Joss. His career was cut short with uh, health problems. He's probably would have been one of the greatest pitchers of all time if it wasn't for that. And here's another uh, version of that Bobby Wallace that I have in that Beckett Authentic holder in the background there. It's hard to tell which one of those two is better. But in any event, Hall of Famer. 100 plus year old card. Here's another copy of that Willie Keeler. There we go. And the Huey Jennings, Ty Cobb's manager. And that's the same uh, portrait shot there as his T206 card also. And here is the last one. This is the big one. This is the reason I bought the lot, pretty much. There we go, Cy Young. And uh, it's kind of interesting because uh, this would be the Boston variation. And he also has the Cleveland variation in the set. And uh, someone has uh, erased the uh, Boston Americans, I believe, uh, letters from his jersey and written Cleveland. So uh, someone has made their own uh, E90 set one uh, traded set, it would seem. And uh, that card is... Uh, pretty badly trimmed and um, still an excellent image there of Cy Young. You don't uh, come across cards very easily from his playing days, so had to pick that up. Uh, eventually, uh, most likely uh, send that into SGC and see if they'll uh, grade that authentic. I don't know. I imagine they would. I've sent in some pretty sketchy cards that they've graded authentic, so I imagine they probably would. Um, I'll probably just hang on to it raw for a while, but there it is, Cy Young. And those are my uh, caramel cards from E90 Set 1. Thanks for watching.